Hello guys! Welcome back to my channel. Ang pag-aaralan naman natin ngayon ay tungkol sa Mendelian First and Second Principles of Heredity. At ito muna yung monohybrid crosses or tinatawag natin pure breed. So, sino ba si Gregor Johann Mendel? So, siya po yung ating father of classical genetics ng year 1822 hanggang 1884. So, isa siyang monk in Czechoslovakia na nag-aral ng science and mathematics sa Vienna, Austria. So, after two years, naging teacher siya at he became an ardent student of agriculture, then particularly plant diversity and breeding. Kaya nung 1866, um, he published his findings on experiments he conducted on pea plants, so which were ignored until the early 1900. Pero, kahit na-ignored yung kanyang experiment, his findings or experiment turned out to be the basis of genetics as we know it now. Si Gregor Johann Mendel, siya po yung ating father of classical genetics. So si Gregor Mendel, naging interesado siya or nagkaroon siya ng mga experiment tungkol sa plant diversity and breeding, especially the pea plants. Kasi nagre-reproduce ito sexually which means the male and female organs located in the same flower. At yung first and second law niya, tinatawag natin itong pure breed or monohybrid cross, meaning male gametes fertilize female gametes in the same flower. The first principle or law ni Gregor Mendel ay ang principle of dominance. So, the dominant trait dominates or prevents the expression of the recessive trait. So, pag sinabi natin dominant, ito yung trait na na-express nung offspring or yung zygote. Okay? So, later, i-discuss natin yun using the Punnett square. At yung recessive naman, ito yung nasusuppress or nakahide. Okay? Na trait. So, magbigay tayo ng example. Flower color. So, dun sa flower color ng pea plant, Merong violet or the purple color na ayon sa experiment ni Gregor Mendel, dominates or dominant yung trait na yun. At meron namang white color which is the recessive trait. Sa pagkocross ng mga traits, gumagamit tayo ng Punnett square. So it enables one to see instantly all possible combinations of genes among offspring. Alam ko, nakakita na kayo ng Punnett Square. So, paano ba ito gamitin? So, meron tayo dito mga makikita ng mga square. So, ipaplot muna natin yung parent. Okay? So, sa flower color, ang ginamit kong letter ay letter R. Yung nakita natin kanina. So, dito sa genetics, letter po ang ginagamit natin. Pwede siyang letter A or hanggang Z, depende sa i-assign na letter ng teacher nyo or ng inyong mga professor. So, ang ginamit natin dun sa flower color, I repeat, letter R. So, yung the genes of the gametes, okay, so from the parent, are written on the top and on the left side of the square. So, Kapag pure breed, so pareho muna siyang uh, kumbaga homozygous. So pag sinabi nating homozygous, pareho siyang capital letter which means homozygous dominant. Okay, dominant which means the uh, gumagamit kasi sa dominant ay malaking letter. Okay? Tapos dito naman sa left side of the square Pinlet naman natin yung uh, small letter which means the recessive trait. Okay? So, yun po ha. Kapag capital letter, dominant trait po yun. Ano nga ulit yung dominant color natin kanina? The violet or the purple color of flower. And the recessive naman, gumagamit tayo ng small letter. At ano yung trait na recessive kanina sa flower color? Yun po yung white. Okay? So, ito pong dalawa na to na cross po natin, ito yung parent. Okay? Which uh, represent letter P. So, makikita po natin na each square, 
Apat po yan represent a possible zygote. So, alam naman natin ang zygote, di ba? It is the fertilized na egg or, and sperm or yung gamits niya na fertilized na. So, when we are solving, just copy the letter. So, dominant R times recessive R. So, may rules po sa ano ha, sa law of dominance. So, uh, una muna nating isusulat yung capital letter or the dominant letter and then the recessive. So, it is the right um, way of writing the possible zygote. Okay? Para lang siyang multiplication, table, no? Pa-L. So, ito, dito naman po sa second uh, square. Tapos, dito tayo sa ba naman? Yan. Okay? So, all possible combinations of genes representing all possible zygotes. So, ganito po um, kumbaga mag-solve using the Panet Square. At makikita agad natin yung possible combination of the offspring. So, yung offspring po natin, tinatawag natin tong F1. Okay? F1 meaning the first generation or the first okay, filial. Meaning yan. Filial uh, generation. Okay, pag nakakita kayo ng F1. So, after we solve no, the possible um, offspring, i-interpret yung combination ng mga zygotes. Okay, how to interpret? So, we'll be um, writing the genotype. Okay, and the phenotype. So, bago natin isulat ang genotype and phenotype, ano ba ang meaning nila? Ang genotype is the combination of allele for a given trait. So, lahat ng letter, ang tawag natin doon is the genotype. So, kanina, di ba, um, meron tayong parent na homozygous dominant, which is the parehong capital R. Tapos, yung homozygous recessive, which means parehong small letter. Ito yung nasusuppress, ito yung uh, nagda-dominant or na-express na traits. Okay? Tapos, uh, yung ating pinaka-result no, na a possible zygotes or offspring, which is the uh, combination na siya ng capital and small letter. So, pag ganito, ang tawag na natin dito is heterozygote. Okay? So, itong dalawa is homozygous. Kapag parehong capital, homozygous dominant. Kapag parehong small letter, homozygous recessive. Kapag combination na ng capital N, small or the dominant and recessive, ang tawag natin dito is heterozygote. Okay? Ano naman ang phenotype? The appearance of a trait as determined by a specific genotype. So, ano ba yung trait natin kanina? Yun yung flower color. So, ang phenotype, ito yung violet flower color at saka ito naman yung white flower color. So, tandaan natin na no matter where the dominant gene comes from, its capital letter is always written first in the offspring or the F1. Okay, tandaan po natin yan. And kapag sinabi natin homozygous, yung allele niya are identical. Tandaan natin ang allele, it can be one letter or tinatawag natin tong haploid or it can also be a diploid or a pair of haploid or dalawang letter. Okay, so ang tawag natin doon is allele. Tapos, ang heterozygote naman, which is the F1, okay, are not identical. So, yun yung distinguish between the homozygous and heterozygous. So, let's interpret the F1 or the first filial generation. So, sa genotype, so bilangin lang po natin yung naging possible zygote. So, 1, 2, 3, 4. Copy lang po natin. 4. Okay. Then, just copy the, the genes. Okay? So, for heterozygote. Okay? Tapos, ang pinotype natin, sa study or experiment ni Gregor Mendel, 
the offspring express the dominant trait. So, ano ba yung dominant trait natin na kulay ng flower? Which is the violet or the purple flower? So, for violet okay, flower color. So, tapos na natin isolve ang first law, yung principle of dominance ni Gregor Mendel using the Punnett square. So, yung genotype, yun yung 4 heterozygote and the phenotype is a 4 violet flower color. So, let's review again. So, each inherited traits such as flower color of pea plants used by Mendel are carried by two genes. So, each gene is called allele. So, yan po yung sinabi ko kanina. And the color in pea plants flowers is carried by two genes or allele. Yun yung pinaka F1 natin or the first filial generation which is the combination of dominant and recessive na tinatawag nating heterozygote. Okay, pwede din po nating um, i-cross yung F1 times F1. So, meaning, nag-self-pollinate no, yung, yung first filial generation. Kasi nga, sabi nga natin, yung pea plant, uh, meron siyang male and female in the same flower. Diba? So, here, we have the the parent, no, yung F1, which is hetero. Susulat natin siya sa top and on the left side of the square. Okay, tapos kapag kinross natin using the Punnett square, just copy. Dominant times dominant. Pareho siya, no? Homozygous dominant ang ating um, possible na zygote. And the second one, kahit na una yung um, recessive, no, sa taas, in genetics, is always um, written dominant over recessive. So, it is the correct way. So, dominant, tapos heterozygote na to. And the same din siya dito sa below, um, square, no? Uh, heterozygote then. And then here, we have the recessive times recessive. So, homozygous recessive. So, sabi natin, ang recessive trait can be expressed kapag nag-combination siya ng parehong recessive na traits, di ba? Kaya ang possible zygote natin, which is the the four offspring, ang tawag na po natin dyan ay F2 or tinatawag natin the second uh, filial generation. So, interpret natin yung F2. So, write pa rin natin yung genotype and the phenotype. So, dito, we have three um, different genotype, no? So, kumbaga, sa segregate natin. So, isang homozygous dominant, tapos dalawang heterozygote, at isang homozygous recessive. Okay. So, yan po yung ating genotype. Ang phenotype naman, so, bibilangin natin kung ilan yung violet flower color and white flower color. So, alam natin, di ba, na ang homozygous dominant is always violet kasi siya yung um, the same with the parent kanina. And kanina naman, yung F1 natin is heterozygous meaning violet flower color then So, 2 plus 1, so we have 3 violet color. Okay, flower color. And we have, di ba, nag-iisa siyang homozygous recessive, which means may lumitaw na white flower color. Okay, so pag kinuha natin ng percentage, no, um, 75% is the violet color or the violet flower color and 25% white flower color. The second law of Gregor Mendel is principle of segregation, which states that diploid organisms have a pair of genes responsible for each trait and that they separate from each other during gamete formation. So, pag sinabi natin diploid, ito na yung zygote, fertilized egg and sperm, or fertilized na gametes. 
which means a pair of genes. Kapag haploid naman, ang mga example nito like sperm cell, egg cell, na hindi pa siya na-fertilize. So, magbigay tayo ng example sa principle of segregation. Okay? Um, I-multiply natin yung F1 and one pair of genes ng parent. So, magbigay tayo ng example sa principle of segregation. So, i-multiply natin yung F1, which is the heterozygote, and isang parent, which is the homozygous recessive. So, lagay po natin sa top yung first na diploid natin, which is the hetero, na isang dominant and recessive. Tapos, the, sa left side naman yung homozygous recessive. So, ganun pa rin, uh, using the Punnett square, okay, just copy the letter, at pag nag-sulat tayo no, ng possible zygote, is um, always capital over small letter, which is the dominant over recessive. Tapos, we have here the recessive times recessive. So, homozygous recessive tayo. Then, dominant times recessive. So, still the heterozygote. And, recessive times recessive. Okay, homozygous recessive. So, itong apat, ito yung possible na offspring or zygote. Then, interpret ulit natin. Genotype. So, segregate natin, no? So, we have two heterozygote and we have two homozygous recessive. So, sa phenotype naman, kung ano yung trait natin, di ba? Monohybrid tayo, which means still the flower color. So, we have, kapag heterozygote, ano nga ulit yon? So, two violet okay, flower color. And, kapag naman homozygous recessive, yun yung white. Diba? White flower. So, kung kukunin natin yung percentage, which means 50% violet flower color and 50% is the white flower color. So, thank you for listening and don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye!